able to get multiple files uploaded into Moodle at one time rather than going through the tediousness of uploading individual file after individual file. Well, that's possible. Uh, and the quickest way to do that is <clears throat> to go into, uh, say, Windows Explorer, for example. And you see here I have uh, this folder with uh, three items in it. And I have a folder with a subfolder with just a lot of files um, that I don't want to upload one at a time. The quickest and easiest way to do this is to just highlight everything that I want to upload and then do a right mouse click and usually you'll have um, send to zip file um, <clears throat> here uh, with standard windows. So I'm going to tell it I want to uh, send this to a compressed or a zipped folder and the uh, file compression tool is going to pop up. It's going to go through the process of doing that and it's going to take it a few seconds to complete it. Um, once it's done, I'm going to have <clears throat> a zip file sitting here waiting uh, to be uploaded to Moodle. So as you can see, this is completed. I've got a 4 megabyte file now that's uh, called access.zip. So what I'll do is I'll switch over to Moodle. I'm going to click upload a file. And I'm going to browse out onto my hard drive, and I'm going to locate that file. And this is the one that I just made. I'll click Upload This File. It'll probably take it a few seconds because it's a little bit bigger. Um, and now you can see I've got the zip file in here. What I want to do now is click Unzip. And you can see it's extracted all the files that I had in here. And the nice thing with that, too, is it's kept my... Um, folder structure in place. Now you can see I have all of these folders and files that I had before are all still maintained in uh, in Moodle and that was just a process to upload a single file um, to get you know, I probably just uploaded 30 files uh, with one click which is really nice.